I don't want you to get the impression, though, that Lang was a political activist. She never joined an advocacy organization or a movement. Her photography is never angry. Her photographs never seem to call on viewers to join the next demonstration. They're very calm. Their subjects are so contained that they seem to advocate patience. But we must remember that just as biography is the story of one life told through the life of another, so portraiture is the image of one person created by another. The strength and spirit of Lang's subjects was put into those images partly by their subjects, but also by the artist. Lang's perception of her subjects, citizen-like qualities, constituted, I think, a form of artistic activism, just if I can stretch a word just a bit. And this activism was part of her temperament, which was forceful, energetic, and determined sometimes to a fault. She was not an easy person to live with. She was irritable and sometimes explosive with herself and others. She could be controlling, demanding. These traits came from her nature, from the very part of her nature that helped her overcome disability and the undoubtedly worst disabilities created by her day's standards for what women should and should not do. But for better or for worse, her outlook was active. One could even argue that her artistic activism was her way of acting out democracy. Above all, her democracy was not one of the passive, so-called liberal variety, uh, in, in which we call democratic, the processes by which very occasionally a very small percentage of our population goes to vote. Rather, she believed very much in the Republican with a small r ver vision of democracy, which required not only universal suffrage and equal rights, but direct involvement in debating and trying to influence gov government. But I think you could emphasize this too much about Lang. Her activism was first and foremost about art. What she cared about more than anything else in the world was photography. And perhaps the most important of her legacies was not that of documenting, but of demonstrating that the documentary can also be art. For this too, I think, is an essential ingredient of a democratic vision, that high art should not remain the privilege of an elite, and that mass art should not be exclusively the terrain of the commercial. Ads can be striking and inventive, but what Lang wanted was to free art from commoditization. And this was an art, she thought, that should always ask questions and point out contradictions, activities which I think are at the heart of democracy. That's it. Thank you very much.